Saggy! No. Three, two, one. Hey, Sag. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Drea, and this is DL's Intuition. If you're new here, hit the little subscribe down below and the bell so you get notified every time I post new content. And if this resonates, give me a thumbs up, baby. Give me a little thumbs up <laughs> and comment let me know how or why it resonates okay and thank you to anyone who has donated who likes who subscribes and shares i appreciate all the love and support and thank you for the patience y'all okay i appreciate it we're gonna get back to the pick of cards but first we're gonna do some zodies okay to close out the october month um sag this is like you know if you got sag in your chart cross watchers you know what i'm saying gang 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 just take what resonates leave the rest we're gonna get your oracles and then we will tap in to your tarot which guys look i got a new deck okay can we just talk about how beautiful oh do i not have autofocus i need you to focus okay all right well this is a beautiful fucking deck and you can't see it but if you are interested and want to see other videos that show the beauty of these cards and i'll hold them up later too it's like it's weird this is an autofocus maybe because my face has to hide behind the card but um i digress yeah we're gonna get um a general message for you guys and if you're interested in this deck the link is in my bio or it's going to be listed down below you will get a discount all right so let's what do we got for my Sagittarius whoa whoa miracles <gasps> you're a miracle you when you're in people's lives birds of feather flock together you manifest miracles every day and people who are in your energy they get to experience those miracles as well and it's like a lot of people who you know you may have left okay because we have memory here it's like you're but a distant memory for a lot of people but all they remember is that you were a miracle that you were a blessing that they did something and well it's like they were so addicted to your energy <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Yo, they were so addicted to your energy that it was like they became so obsessed and it kind of like harmed them in a way that made them kind of move in like this snake energy because if you see this snake right here, it's like, I'm not sure why they were moving like that. Maybe they were trying to get an emotional rise out of you. Maybe they kept seeing you winning and kept seeing you manifesting miracles, being grounded, stable and secure, happy. And it's like they didn't like that. They kept seeing you transform and change and become better. <laughs> and it's like they wanted that for themselves. Not knowing that because they're moving in this snake energy by trying to either sabotage you or do something that will harm you or just like talking bad about you or just trying to bring, dim your light and stuff, they're removing their access to the miracle energy. So now it's like these miracles, this joy and happiness is just but a figment of their imagination and they're thinking about that they're talking about that you're a topic of conversation right now you're very much a topic of conversation because they're addicted to your energy and people don't know how to move because you keep your moves silent you move in silence and then you pop out of nowhere like this new being and they're like well how did they do that how did they do that? Like, I want to know because I want to be like them. Now they don't have access to you. So it's like they can't see how you do things, you know? Wow, look at that. What's going on here? Breakfast? Shit. Who's eating breakfast? No, I'm just kidding. I don't fucking know. Don't mind my hair. Anyway, um, yeah. And it's like their energy... The energy that they took from you because you called your energy back, a lot of you guys called your energy back or you're no longer paying attention. You don't even think about these people anymore, but they think of you obsessively. It's like you're finally getting all of that energy back. It's all coming back to you. You were owed so much because a lot of people drained your energy and it was never reciprocated. You brought these miracles and blessings and abundance to their life, but they didn't do that to you. So now it's like 
they're feeling drained and unenergized because of the fact that they are missing. Yeah, look it, because we got this guy, Grace. It's like, you forgave them for all the bull that may they may have done to you and stuff like that, all the hurt, all the pain. But it's like, now this would have been you, but it's not. It's them. You you lost your leg, right? But then they, how do I explain this? It's like, because I'm seeing like somebody, like the leg just dis disintegrating from somebody and then it's a appearing on somebody else. So it's like, you were the one who went through the pain. So you were this injured person missing a leg and an arm. But now because of the fact that they decided to go and, you know, maybe talk ill on your name or make fun of the memories that they had with you and all that stuff. It's like now they're getting their karma. Now they're the one missing limbs. Okay. Now they're the one going through the toxic situations. Now they're the one getting hit with everything that you were going through that they didn't support you in, that they didn't help you through karma yeah but you got somebody from your past multiple people going through heavy karma because they want to talk ill on your name and you know maybe they've realized that you know you were actually a, a legit blessing when you're in their energy it's like because <clears throat> we have sorcery and revolution you created this magic in their lives you were the person who helped them to see that things were possible but when you're not there it's like you were a reminder. Maybe some of you guys are like, oh, don't talk negative. Yeah, because we have gratitude. So it's like you were the reminder for people. You helped people. You were like, hey, you shouldn't talk like that. Or mm, you shouldn't be so mean to yourself or this and that. Do we have a flipper here? Yeah, we have stability. You were this rock. We have stability, which is the... Um, Wow, okay, we got a couple flippers here. We have stability, which is the emperor. We have union, which is the lovers. And then we have star seed. So you have this ethereal energy, which really does bless people that you come into union with. And this union doesn't have to be romantic. It could be family, friends, whoever, coworkers and stuff like that. You uplift the energy in jobs. You uplift the energy of every place that you go into. And it's like, <laughs> now you don't really go where you because you you don't go where you're not valued anymore okay you're focused on yourself now so you kind of just keep to yourself and your energy is very much missed so let's get some tarot yeah people feel a void because you have this magic you have this magic essence some of y'all could be divine feminines but you don't have to be you just could be really embodying your divine feminine energy right now but you have this beautiful magic and you're aligned and you bring people into alignment, but only when they're ready. If they're not ready, they fall out of your life. And if they fall out of, their, out of your life, how they move after falling out of your life dictates dictates <laughs> whether they get good karma or bad karma. You know what I'm saying? Because you're very unethical. You're very... Not unethical. Untraditional. You... you do things in an or unorthodox way, I mean. You know what I'm saying? And people don't know how you do these things and still live a good life. <laughs> and that's why they were trying to emulate or learn or, or master what you were doing. By being in your energy, they had the chance to learn from the master, but now they are not, so they can't. And they are really kind of like getting hit on all levels, so feel bad for whoever these people are what else any other new messages because i don't really feel like talking about them anymore because these are people from your past and stuff like that we have fool the fool in reverse okay a lot of these people are feeling foolish and it's like you're no longer going towards people who maybe thought you were foolish or played you like a fool and stuff like that and it's like you're going towards your passions you're stepping into your true authenticity your true self you're no longer dimming your light you're dressing how you want to dress regardless of if people like it or not you're doing whatever makes you happy and you're chasing your dreams and going towards your passions okay and also a lot of people are feeling very passionate about you you got a couple people who are very much attracted to you and want to communicate with this eight of wands energy because you're in this stable energy i was we had stability in the emperor and then we have this queen of pentacles okay you cut off a lot of toxic ties which made your energy and your aura and your abundance just skyrocket okay 
and it's like people want what you have but people want what they can't have and that's why a lot of people are focused on you right now any closing messages yeah you taking out the trash you took out the trash and now the trash is like trying to come back <laughs> we got the seven of wands oh this is an interesting seven of wands i like it you're it's like you you see how she's not fighting these wands like there's multiple hands holding these wands hold on you can't even see it but it's like because of the fact that you didn't fight back god the divine source is going to take care of it because she has this wand and it has this light and it's going towards the divine and the divine is taking care of everything the divine is going to fight your battles and i don't literally mean fight your battles but they're going to make sure that whatever conflict is trying to head your way is null and void it's no longer going to affect you it's not going to hold any weight especially because it seems like you have a lot of people who are very much focused on you whoa 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 okay sag we have lovers what's this lovers about we got a new story i heard new story what's this lovers about could be a relationship but it doesn't have to be but i feel like it is oh what was that where'd you go where'd you go mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the higher fan okay definitely relationship it's giving marriage <laughs> some of you guys oh my god i said it's giving marriage we have the four of wands some of you guys you're manifesting your divine counterpart a soulmate twin flame somebody who you know will support you regardless of your emotions because we have these masks and two of them are sad two of them are happy it's it's like regardless of how you feeling on your good days your bad days they're there for you through thick and thin this is a through thick and thin kind of person this person is also spiritually i just heard woke spiritually elevated so this person is going to match your spiritual beliefs whatever they are this person is also very much divine and connected wow we have the empress so this is your empress or you're the empress and this is your emperor coming in but you have a divine counterpart coming in ready to give you a stable secure real offer if you are in a relationship then you could be getting a proposal or some type of you know thing that is going to bring about regardless a lot of y'all ain't gonna be single for much longer okay a lot of y'all ain't gonna be single for much longer or you're not gonna be in the relationship status that you are in okay anything else ain't no way you flying all the way over there what's this tower we got the tower coming through and the two of wands some of you guys are making a change and maybe you got married or maybe you were um engaged and you want to change too and you don't want to be in a relationship anymore so take it as it resonates because that's two different stories it's like some of y'all you're elevating your relationship status you're not going to be single anymore you're manifesting your divine counterpart some of you guys you're manifesting your divine counterpart but you're leaving behind something something that was you know maybe you thought it was your divine counterpart okay a lot of y'all were in a relationship with somebody who was very materialistic and you know wanted you because you looked good but wasn't there again because i was talking about somebody who was going to support you through the bad through the thick and through the thin they were there when things were good but when shit hit the fan they felt uneasy and they couldn't handle it so they would dip on you and now you're finally manifesting somebody who is going to be stable secure and work with you okay spiders could be relevant but yeah you're healing that's what i got for you sag bye Oh, no, I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever, no matter where you are. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Bye.